G'day Roosters. Our mission today, if you choose to accept it, is to create a natural surface in Civil 3D. Now we know where the button is. There's one here, create surface, and there's one over here, for example, to create surface. But how do we create an existing surface of our site in a practical way so that we can build our design off that? Well, it starts with a good Civil 3D template. I strongly recommend civilsurveysolutions.com.au. On their website, they have a great template that is available for download. Now, what I like about this template is that it's aligned more of the way that the civil industry works in Australia. So you can produce drawings that look more like other people's drawings in, in Australia. So you look more professional. So grab that template. Back in AutoCAD, I'll just move away the prospector. So we've got a bigger screen. Type in new, go to our folder that I have dropped that template into, Civil Survey Solutions, DWT, and open it. So now it's a new drawing. So I'll save this as a drawing of my design. I'll so what, what we call this? We'll call this a natural surface NS sample. That'll do. Save that there. And we've got this other one here I'll close. So that's going to be what I call a design file, our design DWG file. Now the next thing you need is a good land survey drawing. So a land surveyor has picked up all the existing conditions of your site. Now here's an example of an excellent one, a very good land surveyor. He's got a lot of information on there in this one. So I'm in the paper space view here. So let's swizz over to the model space view. Now, he, if you read through those notes there, he's got it in the coordinate system that's common in the country that this site is in, which is excellent. So other people can add more data to it. And let, I always try to just interrogate a few points, a few things first. So first of all, I make sure it's in world coordinates, which is great. It's, it's north or straight up the page, so that gives you confidence. Now I look at the contours here. Now I'm going to build a surface of contours for this example. And I'll show you another one later on how you can do it another way. So this contour says the elevation zero, which isn't great. How can I build a surface off that? But it says up here that the layer is called Major Contour 2D. That gives me hope that there's one in there called 3D. So let's type in layer. And this, yes, there is. So let's turn off the 2D contour and put turn on the 3D ones. And do a sensibility check on that. So that 110. Yeah, excellent. Z value is 110. So that's what I'm going to build my surface off. One other thing I always check is just the units, meters. And then the next thing I do to make it easy to work with is that if I just copied this information into my template, I would have the layers from the land surveyor mixing with my design layers, and that would be messy. So rename command layers. Put the star in, which represents a wild card, so that gets all of the layers. Then to put in survey dash star and rename them all. So now you've got everything with the survey prefix in it. So I have seen some people actually start a civil design from a land survey drawing, and I strongly recommend that you never do that. You will end up with a mess because they have produced their drawings from whatever software they've used that's used for designers. They're not designers. So copy their land survey into your design file. So how do I do that? Well, I copy base. Copy base. It tells me specify base point. So I go 0, 0, and let's just select everything in that view there. I'll go over to here, which is my design file, and go Control V or paste clipped, you could type that in, and put 0, 0. And now go zoom, E for extents, and you've got your survey drawing in the same coordinates as a land survey drawing in your design file. So that, that's handy for the land surveyor too because you can send the CAD file when you've done the design to them later on and it's in the coordinates that they've got already and they can set it up. Or another surveyor 
could get the information out of it too because it's in the industry standards for your country, how it's set up in the coordinates. Now let's create our surface. First of all, what I do is I isolate the layers that I want to use for my surface, which is these two contour layers, the 3D ones. Now I'll pull over my prospector and expand out the services section. Now you notice here there's one called NS already, natural surface, that's built into the template from Civil Survey Solutions. So that's great because that, I mean, that is an industry way of doing it in, in Australia to call the natural surface NS. Now the only definition is there is point groups and it's contourable group. I'm just going to delete that from this because I'm only going to use contours to define my natural surface. So here's contours and I'm going to add so you click on that and right click add and I no, you can maybe mess around with this but just leave it as it is it seems to be pretty right I can see here there's one contour that's an outlier just ignore that one so I'm only going to select these ones and there I've created my natural surface so if I turn on everything back so L A Y O N layer on you can there is actually a surface in there and there it is there now how can I make see that a bit more well first of all we want to let's just you can see you can see here that the, there's the surface and it's contouring it at one meter intervals so if you go on NS and you right click on it and you go edit surface style is that right you can control the layers in here you can turn things off and on so I can turn the border off I don't particularly want that um, you can you, uh, and uh, that'll do or I can turn that off so that that that'll disappear that one now if I go to that again right click and go surface properties this template's got a lot of things built into with the style too so you can see here that we've got consoles existing one meter well, let's make it contours existing 0.2 meters because it's quite steep. And now it'll align more to how, see how that's almost identical to the contours, the, the ones that I built it off. Let's go now to our layers, down to survey here and turn off the ones I built it from. So they're not in the drawing. So that's it, that's our 3D surface built in Civil 3D. And if I could spell that right, we could go and have a 3D look at it, but uh, auto, that's pretty good, it just auto corrected it. So you can see there's our natural surface built in there. And if I go shade mode maybe and say realistic, you can see what that surface looks like. So. That looks about right, doesn't it? We've got the street here, it's fairly flat. Then we're turning off and going down a, a driveway. And then we've got the house here. What the uh, purpose of this survey is, is, is that I'd like to put a parking deck in this zone here. So we've got everything that I need to do to start building that. Now I'm gonna show you another way to create a surface. And that's with 3D faces. There is a 3D face from this land survey too. I showed you how to do it with 3D contours but I'm going to use a different survey from a different surveyor drawing just as a point of contrast so let let's open that drawing up so once again I'm in paper space I believe as soon as it opens don't worry about that ignore that move the prospector out of the way go to model space do my normal things that I check yep UCS as weld units and you can see, see this one is different, is you've got what you call triangulation or 3D face. I all, my preference is to always build a natural surface of a 3D face with the brake lines applied. So you can see here, this land surveyor has surveyed this block and he's surveyed this cul-de-sac at the end of the street and he's applied brake lines because you can see the triangles are coming to where the curbs are. So that's, that gives me confidence. This is an excellent land survey drawing. It's gonna give me a very good, accurate design. So once again, 
let's start a new template. Actually, no, let's just use our existing one and show you that it'll come some distance away from where that other one is. This, the, both of these land surveys in the same city, so they shouldn't be too far away from each other. So once again, I'm going to go rename. Well, actually, I'll just see what that layer is on that contouring. Triangle one surface, okay, that's good to know. So rename everything, star survey, dash star, rename to, okay, great. Now let's copy base 0, 0, all of that stuff there, hit enter, go back to my NS sample, which is my design file, just type in plan, so I go back to the plan view, and I've just got to go to shade mode there, see how the UCS icon over here is a bit different, and just change it to um, is it 2D wireframe? Yeah, that's it. Back to normal. And paste, control V, paste my survey in that other one. So where did that end up? Mm, yeah, okay, excellent. So I know that's right because this first land survey was closer into the city and this land survey was about half an hour south of the same city. So that that that's great um, that worked really well so now I want to create a surface of this from the 3d faces so let's just layer isolate that and you can see everything is in there right it's on one layer which is great and it's the 3d face so let's go to our back to our prospector in surfaces now this time we're going to create a new surface and I'm going to call it natural natural surface. Let's just call it site two. This is steep too. So when it's steep, I do like to do contours that are tighter. Now it says there, that's the design contours. So that line works different. So let's just go to the existing. And I love this about the template. There's so much stuff built in already for you. Let's do the same one as before, existing at 0.2 meters contouring. Now go OK on that. It's created, I'll close that one, and you've got this one down here now, so the definition is absolutely nothing. So what we want to do now is go to Drawing Objects, right click on Drawing Objects and Add. And then we expand that out and go to 3D Faces. You could put a description there, but I really can't be bothered. And then we just select all our 3D faces. Turn all the layers back on and we can see that there is a survey in there which is accurate. Now you can see here there's some contours, they don't seem to align to the ones that we have and that's probably because of the sampling rate. I would say that in this one the surface properties is probably more like existing at 0 0.25 let's see what happens there yep now they align perfectly so that's how you create a natural surface in with a land survey drawing in civil 3d key takeaways get a good template only do your design from the template copy in the land survey drawing into your template don't use the land survey drawing as the start of your drawings just the copy the information in. Keep it to the coordinates the land surveyor is using, which should be to an industry standard. And the second one is you can create natural surface uh, model from the 3D contours in the land survey drawing. That's one way, but the preferred way is the 3D faces, a triangulation with break lines or feature lines applied to that surface.